my makeup. We are going to do a quick, where the fuck did it go? Um, a very quick fixing the Torino stream because I need to fucking fix the Torino. What did I do with this shit? Don't look at my bedroom. Stop. <laughs> okay. Oh good, it's pitch fucking black. So, I'm gonna head out to the Torino here. Um, ooh, it's way colder than I actually anticipated. That's my bad. <laughs> okay, so basically the problem I've been having with it is uh, the car has so much shake, rattle, and roll because it's an old muscle that um, the bolts that hold in the new steering wheel, one of them actually backs out. And it backs out enough that it keeps, or it makes the horn complete the circuit to connect and just constantly honk. It's great. It's really awesome. It hasn't happened to me on the road yet, thank God. But, uh, imagine the fun that would be. Just constantly honking at someone, can't fucking stop. Just like, sorry. So, we're gonna fix that. Because we have some Permatex high strength removable blah 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 okay so there's like red stuff and there's blue stuff red stuff is if you want it to lock on and like never come off you thread it on the uh or you put it on the threads that's the wrong key and then when you screw it in or bolt it in or whatever it is like near impossible to get out the blue stuff is the opposite the blue stuff you put on and it's made to come back off and this orange stuff which they like just came out with ugh, and by just i don't know it could have been a couple years ago i don't pay attention to shit this actually works both ways so it will hold which means it won't rattle out anymore but what do i need here um i'm trying to remember how big it is i think it's like a 7 sixteenths but it will actually come off. So it stays on like the red stuff, comes off like the blue stuff. Where the fuck's my wrench? Okay. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is unhook the horn. Disconnect it. Oh! Hold out. Okay, so we have this horn unit right here. Which, ow, fuck. I should just come undone like that. What's up, GPX Smith? How are you? And the other one, is that it right there? Okay. I think they're both just on the driver's side here, so. <sighs> okay, horns are disconnected. Good. We're gonna need that. And let's test it. What's up, Kamu? How you doing, sweetie? Hang on. Got a bunch of shit in my seat. Oh! It's so damn cold. Okay, testing. Awesome. I wish I could I need to be able to like, rest this on my tits better. My jacket won't hold it. Or will it? Ha ha! Oh, you guys are right up against my boobs right now. Lucky sons of bitches. Okay, that actually works out pretty fucking awesome. Oh, that would be why. Pretty sure that's the right size, but we'll see. So I've got to, what is it? Do I twist? Yeah, pretty sure. There's like, damn. There it is, okay. Or I just broke it, one of the two. I don't know which. Those ain't holding up very well. There we go. Hey, okay. So, I'll just get you out of my boobs. Blue Nero. Oh, uh, we're not. We're actually working on the car right now. I'm gonna do a quick fix, and that's probably it. It is so cold. All right, so we've got three little nubs in here. You can kind of see them along the inside, right there-ish. Those actually line up with these little nubs. 
right there. And this plate, uh, if you look over here, you can see, at least I think you can see, there's this plate here. If this plate is fully touching, the horn's honking. If it's not, then it's not. And one of these bolts is really loose. It's this guy right here, pretty sure. No, well, they're all fucking loose. Okay. What size are they? I don't know what they are. Is it the 7 16ths? Hey, I'm a genius. Okay. I can shut the door and hope no one run, runs over my tools out there. Big rip for them if they do. Ah! Alright, got that spring. Um. So basically I'm going to back these out and we're going to put on some of this Permatex. It's the orange shit. Uh, holds like red, removes like blue. What do I need for this? Where's the instructions? Clean and dry parts. Yeah, okay. Uh, shake thread locker before each use, really. Remove cap and nip nozzle tip. Okay, we're gonna need to cut that. Apply to threaded areas and assemble parts for a technical data sheet for complete information. Okay. So, we've got our wrench. What we're going to need is something to uh, snip the tip. That's uncomfortable. <laughs> um, and also something to wipe your hands on because I'm going to make a big fucking mess. Um, where are all my rags? There we go. Hi, my trunk's a mess. I don't know what to tell you. Got a fuck ton of parts back there right now. Uh, life in the upside down? Hello, how are you? Can we see the Mustang this stream? I will try to. Last time my phone tried to connect to the, uh, yeah, we can cut with this. Uh, tried to connect to my internet. And so it automatically crashed the, crashed the stream. And uh, I tried two or three more times to reconnect it and it just fucking wouldn't. Call a Jewish rabbit their god at sniping the IP. Snipping. What are you talking about, <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna put you guys back in my tits. Hang on, I gotta zip this back up. Damn it, jacket. I need you to hold. Oh, no. Stop it. Okay. You guys can probably mostly see what I'm doing here now. Either the jacket's lopsided or my boobs are. I'm hoping it's the jacket. Okay, we're supposed to shake this well before use. Oh, I'm going to get banned for this shit, that's for sure. <sighs> back these out one at a time. Okay, that should be fine. Take this off. Where's my tray? There we go. I don't have any cup holders, so I have this to hold, like, parts and shit, basically. In the meantime. Really hope we can get a ride in the Mustang. Maybe if you behave. It's not that big of a deal. It's a fucking V6 automatic. Um, where the fuck? Are you guys able to see okay when you're right here? Like, is that alright? I'm gonna assume that's alright. Okay. Got our rag set up here. Cool. Got the tip snipped off. All right, let's back out this first one here. Oh man, I'm hungry too. <laughs> we are now in the ashes boobs. Enjoy your stay. Yes, please enjoy your stay. It'll be very limited. Okay, and then we're just supposed to put some of this shit on here. I'm trying to try and make sure you guys can see this. Well, this is a lot more liquidy than I was expecting. I was expecting it to be thicker. Oh. 
No, seriously, this is like water. How the fuck does this hold anything in? All right, well, whatever. It's fucking on there now. So we may not need the wrench for this. I'm going to carefully stick it back in, phrasing, and try very hard to not cross thread this shit. There we go. Okay. Oh, I should have put an extension on this. Okay, if I over tighten it, I'm kind of boned. It should just tighten down to about right there. Okay. Hey, now it seems like it's staying. I wonder how long this takes to set up. Go ahead and back this one out. Can't get a good grip on it while keeping my boobs facing it. Okay. So again, we're going to do the same thing here. Should really be under a crafting stream almost. Just going to put a generous helping of orange shit all over our threads. Sorry, that's out of camera there. Okay. This should be good. So now we are going to get this one in. And again, the reason that we're doing this, for those of you just joining, um, these three bolts right here, this is inside the steering wheel. Um, these three bolts hold this plate off of the uh, the other plate behind it, which activates the horn. So when these plates are just touching, the horn goes off nonstop. And because these back off, it means that the spring isn't holding exactly right and the horn goes off. This one's in a little too much there. I'm gonna back this guy out. No, he doesn't feel tight then. Okay, that's fine. Whatever. Let's get this one off. Sneaking a watch while I can before I gotta get back to work on tires. What's up, Doran? How you doing, Sadie? You guys are enjoying the wonderful, amazing technological advance of Bubo Vision. I have the phone. Well, that was a nice sounding car. I have the phone sitting right between my jacket and my boobs. I can't, there we go. There's a good angle. I can't really reach out like this, so I apologize. What is that shit that's on this? Okay. Get a little more of this orange stuff in there. So does this just act like a glue, I guess? It's got to have time to set up. There's no way just a straight liquid can make these actually stay in there. So yeah, they would rattle out just from the shaking and rumbling of the car. So, you know, older cars don't have as tight a suspension. The uh, components aren't machined as precisely. Um, and the engines sure shit shook a lot more. Okay, so that one's in, that one's in, that one's in. I think we're good now. I'm gonna check this from the side. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. So it looks like we're good. We're not in too deep, phrasing. Should be able to get the cap and the spring. Where the fuck's the spring? There it is. <laughs> I thought I lost the spring for a second. I was about to be pissed. Okay. So the spring goes right there in the center. And it basically, again, we had those three little nubs on the cap here. Those. Those are going to hook into the little nubs on this guy and then twist. And that's pretty much it. Should be... Oh, okay. Yep, I probably should have unhooked the battery before we did this. That's all right. Just do our best to not set it on fucking fire. Okay, we are twisted. 
We should be good now. So now for the moment of truth, I'm gonna go plug in the horn and we're gonna hope to shit that I don't fucking deafen myself. Should be good though. It's not a real car repair vid unless something's on fire. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Guys, always make sure to unplug the battery when you're working on the car, okay? Don't be like me. Do as I say, not as I do. Do, do the do, not as, don't say that you do the do. Whatever, okay. Um. So horn number one, please. Guys, this might be loud. You might wanna turn this down for a sec. Okay, we're good. Horn number two. Corin, hello. Ash, don't short your car. No, it's hard to short a car, I'll be fine. So hello everyone, what's up Corin? Goy bird, you ain't nothing if you can't wire live. <laughs> you guys are fucking idiots. Holy shit. Okay, let's test it. Hey, we're good. Okay, it's cold as balls out here. That was pretty much the only fix I had for the Torino, I think. Um, I guess, I guess we could go for a ride in the Mustang. Let me clean up all my shit here. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm gonna leave this right there, I guess. Okay, so it's probably not a problem, probably. But I don't know where I put the orange shit. I had a bottle out. I have I have the empty container here. I don't know where the actual orange shit is. So that's a problem. I have to find that. Don't want to leave it out, especially in the car. Uh, 7 16th. Behave. Thank you. Ugh. 